What up, what up? It's your boy Aki checking in here with another video. So in this video, I actually want to bring you guys something a little bit different. This is actually a deal story. This is a, a deal that actually uh, I've been following up on for a little bit over a year, man. So I initially got this lead from a partner who actually got the lead from a mailman. And this story is going to really, really make you laugh how it comes full story. But check this out. Um, the whole reason why, you know, everything's recorded is just because, you know, social distancing, you know, keeping everybody safe, keeping the seller safe, keep myself safe, you know, going into properties, especially the type of houses that we go into wholesale properties. Typically, they're not, um, you know, in the best shape. This one in particular was in actually excellent shape, but, you know, there could be underlying issues uh, like mold or just, you know, a lot of dust on top of what is going on with the pandemic in America right now. It's just really better to do appointments this way. And I urge you to do the same thing just to keep everybody safe and keep yourself in a space where, you know, you're not actually at the property, but you're actually able to see, you know, everything that you need to see um so this property in particular is actually a triplex really really close to a hospital development in our area so if i'm speaking fast i'm drinking coffee at the moment but yeah this is actually a really hot property um you can't really get a duplex in this area for under 140. Um, we actually got this at 65% of the value um, like i said this is a triplex so we got this uh a little bit under a hundred and uh, you know we're pretty happy with the deal you know this uh could be a rental um could get easily 1500 a month um with a little bit of work um uh, but um you know there's just so many different extra strategies that we could go and use this with uh the financing uh, on this property would be at 70 percent of the value if we were to do something like that um, but uh, a lot of the different uh, lenders that we particularly use for a deal like this have, number one, either shut up shop completely or have done things like, uh, have just done things like uh, totally just just change the terms up in the past couple of weeks and for good reason you know uh, at the end of the day it's their uh their job to get a return on their uh investors money and you know in this type of climate and this type of uh environment where it, everything is uncertain you know no one's really experienced anything like this um it's really important that you know they they uh, tied up their guidelines so that they can uh, continue to do the job that they need to to be successful in their space so um if if i were you guys man uh, as you see right now this is how i'm actually doing appointments and i really really urge you to stay safe uh do the social distancing thing um just be really, really uh, cautious of going out to appointments, going into other people's homes. Um, the type of sellers that we help on a day-to-day -day basis are in distress. So not only uh, are they, uh, you know, with this situation, more than likely are they going to be older. So you want to help them out. But uh, if they're not older, then they, they may be in a situation where there's a bunch of people that could be at risk of you, you know, getting in their way. I don't, I don't recommend you go to a property, you know, for the foreseeable future. Do it this way, you know, FaceTime, Google Duo, um, or worst case scenario, you got to do pictures. You get them to do pictures somehow and do it that way. But this is not the time where you, where you fold, where you, you know, where you just totally stop marketing you know, a bunch of people are going to start doing that, which means there's going to be a, a lot more opportunity um, for you to buy deeper because there's going to be less people contacting them. They're going to, if you, if you notice, you know, if you, if you have normally been getting a ton of spam calls, even at this point, you know, during the pandemic, even the people in India, you know, even the people in the uh, the Philippines with those, you know, robo calls or those those different uh, voicemails that you're usually getting, I have dropped to zero. I mean, none at all, none at all. Not getting any of that. So now's the time to keep steady with your marketing. And if you can, maybe even up it a little and, and go ham. Um, like I said, um, my financing has actually 
uh, backed out from what they uh, previously promised. And, you know, what I'm doing for that and what I urge you to do is is a lot of sellers, you know, if they're in the space to do this, I would uh, urge you to do the seller financing where, you know, they are able to, they're free and clear. You can make the seller the bank. And if you guys are interested, I'll make another video on that. Um, but a lot of people who's been in the business, you know, a little bit over a year should know what this is. It's just where you can, uh, instead of, you know, giving them all cash, you're still going to purchase the property, especially when you're, uh, you know, doing wholesales. It was, which, which is what I'm really, uh, uh, which is the majority of my business these days where I'm buying it, uh, you know, doing uh, minor repairs, clean it up and relist it. I really like that model. Um, those are the type of deals um, I like doing. I really don't enjoy doing uh, the assignment just because if you're selling it to another investor, you know, you're, you're selling it at a discount. Um, and a lot of times you want to get a different type of buyer on the MLS to buy that type of deal, especially if it doesn't need much work at all, if any work at all. So yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing these days. I'm doing appointments like this and um, the seller financing is gonna work out, I, in my opinion, really well for a lot of people uh, in this market. Not only does the seller get interest on their, uh, does, not only do they get interest that you're paying them, but they also, um, are able to get the deal done because let's face it, not a lot of people that are smart, not a lot of sophisticated investors that are going to purchase their property are going to be able to get a lender to loan, you know, the full amount of money um, and at the terms that make sense for an investor. So it, it really makes sense for a lot of sellers to just agree to, you know, just agree to those terms, but uh, a little bit more about this property, man. As you can see, the property is in pristine shape. We got a lot. I mean, we got a lot, a lot of upside here. Not a whole lot of updating. Uh, if we were to, you know, do the full reno, not a whole lot of reno to do, and it it, it really makes me uh, happy to know that you know a lot of sellers are willing to do business this way and are adamant to do business this way so just get used to this for the foreseeable future to be honest i don't see sellers wanting you or you wanting to be in their house uh for a while if you do go be safe <laughs> you can tell them everything to uh that you want to see in a house pretty much have a checklist if you guys want a checklist i can drop it um uh, in another video or maybe just put that on the community page where you know exactly what you want to check on the house you want to check for uh just different updates you want to check the electrical system check for termites stuff like that if you guys think that would be valuable let me know and uh happy investing out there if you guys have any questions hit me up or if you uh have any suggestions on things i should make videos on uh let me know um for right now i'm getting ready to start making my calls for the day and look for more deals all right guys talk to you in the next video peace